In today's video we shall discuss about actinomycetes. But before that do subscribe to my channel and let me know your opinions and suggestions in the comment box. Actinomycetes refer to prokaryotic or unicellular organisms that are having a gram-positive cell wall. The morphology of actinomycetes is more or less similar to the fungi because they can also produce a filamentous, dense, branched and raised colony over the substrate like fungi. They are the true bacteria, not fungus, and placed in the kingdom bacteria and a class actinobacteria. These are ubiquitous in nature, commonly found in soil. In addition to soil, they are also very common in marine habitat and considered as a treasure house of secondary metabolites. Most of its features are common to bacteria than that of fungi, due to which actinomycetes have been placed in the group of bacteria. They include members like Mycobacterium, Coronibacterium, Streptomyces, and Actinomyces. The diameter of an actinomycete cell is much smaller than the branched fungi. The filamentous forms of actinomycetes are aerobic and they may produce spores singly or in chains. Its colony appears as a pigmented powdery mass due to the formation of aerial spores. Actinomycetes behave like decomposers which carry out the degradation of organic compounds like chitin, complex sugars, hemocellulose etc. Its filamentous forms are predominantly aerobic, while a few are anaerobic. Examples of actinomycetes include actinomyces israelii, nocardia asteroids, streptomyces scabies etc. Systemic classification of actinomycetes Actinomycetes belong to kingdom bacteria. Phylum Actinomycetota, Class Actinomycetia, and Order Actinomycetales. Distribution and Ecology Actinomycetes are widely distributed in different parts of the world. Because they can live in different environments and exhibit high versatility in their nutrition. Some of the species are capable of surviving in various extreme environments and can, therefore, be classified based on these habitats. They include alkalophilic species who survives in areas with high alkaline environment, for example Bogariella caesolitica. Halophilic species those which survive in areas with high salt concentrations, for example Saccharomonaspora halophila and psychrophilic species commonly found in very low temperatures, for example Modestobacter multiceptatus. The diagram here shows actinomycetes colony growing on agar, common morphology of actinomycetes, the cross-section of an actinomycetes colony showing the substrate mycelium and aerial mycelium with chains of conidiospores. Nutrition Actinomycetes are heterotrophic organisms and thus depend on various organic materials as a source of food or energy. This is achieved by decomposing various organic materials, for example cellulose and lignin etc., in their surroundings. To effectively break down these compounds, actinomycetes produce a number of enzymes including cellulases and keratinases. Life cycle The life cycle of actinomycetes is divided into six stages which are germination, vegetative growth, coiling, septation, spore maturation and release of spore. Germination the spores of actinomycetes remain dispersed in the environment as a free spore. Free spore remains dormant until the stage of germination. When the spores get favorable conditions, they start the germination process by forming a germ tube. Vegetative growth The germ tube promotes vegetative growth, which eventually gives rise to the substrate and aerial hyphae. First, a germ tube will produce a primary mycelium substrate hyphae that grow within the media. After the growth of primary mycelium, a secondary mycelium, aerial hyphae, forms above the substratum. Coiling During unfavorable conditions, the aerial hyphae turn into a spiral shape. Septation At this stage, a septum forms between the vegetative hyphae. Spore maturation a septum within the vegetative hyphae maturates and forms a chain of spores. Thus, the spores originate via fragmentation or swelling of the hyphae. Release of spore During unfavorable conditions, the spores detach from the vegetative hyphae and remain free in the environment. Cultural Characteristics 
Cultural characteristics of actinobacteria refer to the growth characteristics and morphology in various kinds of culture media. It is usually determined after incubation for 14 days at 28 degrees Celsius. The colors of substrate and aerial mycelia and any soluble pigments produced were determined by comparison with chips from the ISCC NBS color charts. Optimum temperature is 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. Grow on brain heart infusion agar or broth and thioglycolate agar containing 0.12% to 0.2% rabbit blood. Incubation time is 3 to 4 days mostly, but for few species it extended from 1 to 2 week. Colony can be rough, pigmented with chalky appearance. These are the cultural characteristics of some actinobacterial strains. The basic morphological characteristics of actinobacteria. They are diverse group gram-positive, non-modal, non-capsulate, straight, curved or pleomorphic, arranged in chains or branching filaments and mycelium tangled mass of hyphae. Morphological observation. Usually, the basic morphology of hyphae and spores is observed by light microscopy. The microscopic structures of hyphae and spores on the surface are observed by scanning electron microscope. The ultramicroscopic structure of the spore flagella and cell is observed by transmission electron microscopes. These are the morphological observation of Streptomyces nobilis, Streptomyces nobilis, and Kineococcus genuria. Actinomycetes are classified into seven families. The classification is based on hyphal and reproductive structures. The first family is Streptomycetaceae. Members of this family consist of non-segmented hyphae and 5 to 50 canidial spores per chain of aerial hyphae. Examples are Streptomyces, Microglobospone and Sporoctilhia. Nocardiaceae. Members of this family possess typical non-segmented hyphae. Examples are Nocardia, Pseudnocardia. Micromonospiraceae. Members of this family possess typical non-segmented canidia that generally exist singly, in pairs, or in chains. Examples are Micromonospora, Thermonospora, Thermoactinomycetes, Actinobifida, Dermatophilaceae. Members of this family possess hyphae that undergo fragmentation to give rise to a large number of modal structures. Example is Geodermatophilus. Actinoplanaceae. Members of this family have sporangiospores and hyphae examples are Streptosporangium, Actinoplanes, Plasmabispora, and Dactylosporangium. Frankiaceae. Members of this family are strictly associated with the roots of a non-leguminous plant and help in nitrogen fixation by forming root nodules. Example is Frankia. Actonomycetaceae. The members of this family do not contain true mycelium and are facultative anaerobes. Examples is Actonomyces. Actonomycosis. Actonomycosis is a rare infectious bacterial disease caused by Actinomyces species. The name refers to ray-like appearance of the organisms in the granules. About 70% of infections are due to either Actinomyces israelii. Infection can also be caused by Streptomyces somaliensis and Propiani bacterium propionicus. The condition is likely to be a polymicrobial anaerobic infection. Signs and symptoms include formation of painful abscesses in the mouth, lungs, breast, or gastrointestinal tract. Actinomycosis abscesses grow larger as the disease progresses, often over months. In severe cases, they may penetrate the surrounding bone and muscle to the skin, where they break open and leak large amounts of pus, which often contains characteristic granules filled with progeny bacteria. These granules are often called sulfur granules due to their yellow appearance, although they may also be white, gray, or brown. Diagnosis the diagnosis of actinomycosis can be a difficult one to make. In addition to microbiological examinations, magnetic resonance imaging and immunoassays may be helpful. The large spherical clusters, densely packed and branching, and PAS positive sulfur granules are specific of actinomycosis. Treatment Actinomyces bacteria are generally sensitive to penicillin, which is frequently used to treat actinomycosis. In cases of penicillin allergy, doxycycline is used. 
Sulfonamides such as sulfamethoxazole may be used as an alternative regimen at a total daily dosage of 2 to 4 grams response to therapy is slow and may take months. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy may also be used as an adjunct to conventional therapy when the disease process is refractory to antibiotics and surgical treatment. Actinomycetes are the economically important organisms that play a fundamental role in many areas like biomedical use, use in bioremediation, use in regulating plant growth, industrial use, use as agroactive compounds, prevents biocorrosion, uses biopesticide. Biomedical use. Members of actinomycetes can produce many of the best known antibiotics. Some of the antibiotics obtained from actinomycetes include cefamycins, tetracyclines, quinolone, macrolides, vancomycin, rifampicin, adriamycin, amphotericin, and rapamycin. The diagram here shows the image of antibiotic producing actinomycetes in 140x magnification. Bacteria of this type are known for producing many of the common antibiotics today. Use in bioremediation. Actinomycetes digest complex carbohydrates like chitin, cellulose, hemocellulose, etc. It also helps in the degradation of toxic compounds from the environment. Thus, it plays an essential role in the bioremediation of organic compounds. Actinomycetes can survive in a harsh environment like high temperature up to 50 degrees Celsius that is crucial for the composting process. Use in regulating plant growth. Actinomycetes inhabit the soil and produce phytohormones, extracellular enzymes, and bioactive compounds. These compounds promote direct plant growth and protect against phytopathogens and pests by producing indole 3-acetic acid, siderophore, and soluble isophosphate. Industrial use. Actinomycetes produce several enzymes, which show a wide range of applications in different fields like lipase in detergent and pharmaceuticals industries. Cellulases in the animal feed industry. Catalase in the detergent industry. Amylase in food, textile and paper industries and chitinase in biochemical industries. Use as agroactive compounds. Actinomycetes produce agroactive compounds as they are extensively present in the rhizospheric zone of the plant. Thus, they can actively colonize themselves with the plant roots and protect the plant from pathogenic fungi and other phytopathogens. Prevents biocorrosion. Actinomycetes produce secondary metabolites, which act as antimicrobial substances. These antimicrobial substances attack pathogenic and phytopathogenic microorganisms, which can cause biocorrosion. Use as biopesticide. Actinomycetes are also used as a biopesticide that attacks insects like Musca domestica, Culex quinquefasciatus, etc. It kills 90% of insects at their larval and pupal stage. Actinomycetes are important groups of organisms. They can be primarily harnessed for commercial production of nutraceuticals, pharmaceuticals, anti-tumor agents, enzymes, enzyme inhibitors, and chemotherapeutic agents. Enzymes carry extremely interesting thermostability properties and good activity in a wide range of pH, and their solvent tolerance potentials made it a clear choice for industrial processes. These special properties of the enzymes have turned beneficial in terms of medical and biotechnological perceptions. As the world is witnessing newer diseases such as SARS-CoV-2 and the pandemic due to its demands drugs and other metabolites are increasing day by day. Therefore, the necessity for the quest for unique and rare marine actinomycetes is enhancing too.